Oh, right, yes, we're going into game one. Uh, on to PS2 we go. Uh, Krom versus Yoshi. Okay, so forward air into the double edge dance right there. And uh, now Mash going for that up air, but Light Hawk using Yoshi's double jump properties to get out of that. And just getting juggled. I mean, I guess that is one of Yoshi's weaknesses for the most part. And uh, just waving it really aggressively with these aerials. I do find that, like, you get two types of Yoshi players, the ones that just absolutely mash on you, and then the ones that just stay at the dis distance and keep tossing eggs until you get sick of, like... Was that a jab reset? Huh, oh, weird. Anyways, mash still in the percentage lead, trying to get that Nair one perhaps into a conversion. Maybe we're gonna see a Jeff smash coming in. Oh gosh, wait, yeah, give me a sec. And there we go. Oh, wait. yeah, I looked away for a moment, percent are the same, and the Yoshi down B going to be sending Mash straight up. I wonder if we're gonna see. Yeah, not Smash, I was sure gonna take that stock. And we see Mash now fishing for the, I guess, jab and backwards aerial for the kill eventually. Away from the punish. Nice little egg lay there. Into some up air strings. The percent difference is getting quite large, and Mash really needs to close out the stock soon if he uh, doesn't want this to get out of hand. And there's that Yoshi Diner that does like, what, 30 something percent? Absolutely ridiculous move. Down tilt into the down smash read, but Mash with that time will get an attack. Alright, now we percent on him. Press talk for Light Hawk and forward air. Alright, Mash makes it back into it safely, but immediately does a soaring slash. And yeah, run off Nair just gonna kill. I mean, he already burned his jump, there's nothing Mash could do save maybe going for a suicide kill with the soaring slash. Alright, 26% off of that, because that's just, yeah, prom up the degenerate move in my opinion. I am I am he seems to be using quite a bit, and obviously he's going to get punished for it because it's quite laggy. Alright, our bears are going to see some juggles going out. Light Hog lands safely on the platform and tries to read with enough smash, but unfortunately just a bit short on the. Alright, air knocks out. Down tilt, but he's going to slide off and not be put into tumble there. Double edge dance, not going to quite take the stock yet. I mean, I guess it's considerably weaker than Roy's sweet spot version, but in exchange for not having that sweet spot. Onto the ledge. Sorty throws make you depressed, but they don't deserve good throws because they're sorties. Just spamming some F tilts. I mean, yeah, if you light hog runs into any of them, he's basically dead. It's short of having the jump armor. And dash attack can clean up that stock there. 86% on Mash. I mean, given the performance Mash showed us at the beginning of the game, it's very possible that he might just uh, be able to bring up the percentages back. The, whether or not either of these players close out those stocks is a different story. And yep, there's another soaring slash for another 27%. Forward air coming in. Ooh, the egg. Alright, air knocked just to ledge safely. Thankfully managed to, uh, to avoid the big hitbox of that down B from Yoshi, but... Seriously, is he gonna get punished for these soaring slashes? I feel like it's punishable. Ah, uh, whatever. Alright, down tilt onto the shield, you can't really do anything about that. Like, Lucy, Marcina, and Croy down tilts on shield are just like... Okay, fine, I guess you get this interaction for free button. <laughs> but, up air, out of shield, going to be taking that stock, and 71% uh, on light hug, still pretty clean. I mean, I don't think there's any really danger of real death for the moment, given how long it took for the stocks to be closed out. I really didn't see too many jab confirms slash fishing for jabs out of uh
into town and city there. Both players having landed enough air so far, but uh, Yoshi just does so much more damage. Alright, egg lay into a nice double up air string. And uh, Mash is getting out of that with a up air into Soaring Slash for some reason. Soaring Slash is going to be landing on that side platform, of course, at 114% on Mash already. Yoshi's damage output is just absolutely disgusting. Yeah, there's enough, enough and like rip to get taxied off the stage and nice uh, wave dance, double edge dance into the swing slash. Once again, he really loves using that move. I mean, it's a really good punish option because it, it does a ton of damage, obviously. But I don't know, I just feel like it's really susceptible. That back air not quite going to take the kill yet. <laughs> that up smash almost claims Mash's life. But there's kind of fishing a bit for like some sort of option. Nice spacing from Mash so far though, and he has been able to get punished from Light Hug's out of shield options. I don't know if that's a confirm or not, but Light Hug potentially missing that kill onto Mash with that up air. Dancing. But I guess Tom just rolls away really far or something. Alright, alright, we see the beginning of some jabs. Pivot cancel F till. Into a back air at ledge to seal the stock, Mash getting that first one. This time of Smash out of shield and is shielded into Soaring Slash, 26.4%. Yep, that's a customary. Alright, Mash playing a lot better this game defensively. As he gets, you know, uh, forward there, off into the blast zone. Should affect the blast zone as an age. Alright, jab, no follow up. Uh, is this the start of Lighthawk getting juggled? No, it is not, because that down B just kind of goes through platforms and you don't really expect it. Alright, down tilts, down tilts. Yeah, Lighthawk's using a lot better, uh, what should call it, egg toss usage this game, I feel like. Like, to an extent, yeah, the problem has a sword, you can just mash through it, but at yeah, the correct distance, it's something that he's going to be forced to respect. But double jumps into center stage, not going to quite do it, and then that drift's just going to cause him to you know, go straight into Crom Sword once again. Get up top with me, and double edge dance, sealing that stock out. Alright, Mash now, this time with a lot bigger stock lead, back there on stage, charging that F smash. Both players just kind of fishing the combo starters, I guess, with the falling up air versus the potential down to tech chase. Alright, double up air, not gonna kill yet. He tries to pick up the down B, but I don't know. I mean, that option, it's a nice surprise burst option, but I think once you uh, use it enough times, it just becomes something that the enemy respects, and then you end up getting punished for it. The, the star to hitbox is a lot more difficult to punish because it hits you a bit afterwards. Alright, Swing Slash gonna get caught on the way up with the egg, but not gonna get picked by any means. And Mash just kinda, you know, Krom doing Krom things, down these to er, Bill not gonna kill from Yoshi. Next one is gonna kill, or that up air will take the stock first. Alright, and now we're back into neutral game, and Mash mashing a little bit less. So the last talk right here was just, I think, just narrowing in place a couple times. Alright. Before the off the stage, tries to go for the Hawk tries to go for that. He went for the Jeff Smash. That only works if you're at Arjun, not that percent though, sadly. Alright, forward air. Lighthawk kind of gets off ledge for free there. Back air, things are looking very dangerous for Mash actually, especially with those uh, side platforms on town, like you can see on them so easily. But the DI on that 
And that F tilt is going to take that stop, final stop. And things are now evened up at 1 2 1. Yeah, that F tilt is kind of a very surprising burst option, but. Makes it kind of annoying to DI as well, especially with Krom's amazing speed on the ground. to SBS. Both players starting off quite aggressively, but Lighthawk has the second to move and therefore the first to get the winning neutral and already 74%, 87% coming out. Both characters just have some amazing damage output from zero off of the single neutral win. Very scary, but and then obviously both very susceptible recoveries, etc, etc. There are quite a few parallels between these two. Uh, parry, but no punish. Classic. Alright, alright. Forward air into potential ledge trap situation. No, the double jump gets light hug right out of there. Swing slash arm ring through that back air. Potentially getting him through and through that down D2. Jesus. So I'm gonna give that swing slash a award because that thing is just getting him through everything. I don't need a pair at this day. Soaring slash super armor. Oh, but that back air setting off of the top. I'm not even sure if they like was survivable off the with a potentially more correct DI or not. Like, Yoshi is just such a mystery to me every single time. Alright, forward throw and go straight for the F smash read. Yoshi forward air into some up tilt up air up air strings, 66%, and Lighthawk is all too happy to keep taking these trades because, you know, like, he's already taking the stock, this is extra credit. Uh, second place not gonna get red by mash there. And the trade coming in. Ooh, that could have been very bad for Mash if Lighthog uh, was able to get that back out a bit earlier. But the parry into down tilt. Okay, okay, Lighthog in offstage situation. I think it's in an offstage situation. And forward are going to spike Mash, but up tilt gonna steal that first stock 131% on Mash. Things are looking rather dire, I'm not gonna lie, for Mash. Yeah, uh. Okay, the back air, not gonna take the stock yet. Also, nice fast fall through to avoid that egg. But to be fair, I mean, Chrome with Rage can be pretty scary. Unfortunately, I think he meant to do a runoff or something there, or. But he instead got the roll at ledge. Or, not ledge, at the edge of the platform. And we see some egg toss into. Oh, that dino would have shield poked if that started from the very beginning, I think, and to the end. Soaring Slash gonna bring Lighthawk to that standard 26.4%. I feel like I've seen that pretend quite often in this set already. And we just see Mash spacing him out with some forward airs and Soaring Slash whenever Lighthawk disrespects that. Uh, tries to go for the run-up jab. Actually, have we seen a single chair this game in their set? I don't know. I mean, obviously it's not like Lighthawk's giving it to him for free or anything. And Like, if you mess up a single frame or two, then you could very well just screw it up. But that up is going to take that second stock. Alright, 77% on Mash if you can- Oh no, he got that! Uh, double edge dance instead of Soaring Slash, you hate to see it. <laughs> And uh, game three goes to Lighthawk.
hovering on Yoshi's Island for a second had me real worried. I mean, we got that off the stage list for very good reason. I hate that stage so much. I wonder if we still have Unova on this. Ah, instead we're just back to PS2. Alright, starting off with the egg toss into Nair. I mean, wow, that's a lot of Nairs coming out from Lighthawk. Alright, but we end up with the mix-up with the egg lay. I mean, both players just kind of spacing things out, waiting for their opportunity to strike, get their 60% strings. Nice double edge jumps coming out with the upwards hit to, to cover the platform. But Lighthawk landing with up air and gets like four of them in return, geez. Alright. Jab into the read. Ah, the dance match just to pull the trigger a bit too late on that. Alright, next toss from ledge into, I guess, up smash read. And Jafar coming out. Into pivot. Cancel up tilt at ledge. They're not quite gonna take the stock, but that was close. And this is a super super even game so far. Back air, not gonna take it yet. Uh soaring slash to the ledge. Saturation I don't know how to fix that. And up smash out of shield going to be taking that first stock of the game. Quite a how to put it, a bit slower paced given the two like bursty characters on the screen and in general, like 1 minute 30 seconds for that first stock to be taken. Back air, or match answering back with that back air. And we're back to having an even game. Ah, <laughs> uh, Lighthog keeps trying to check in with these jabs, but Mash having none of that just says, okay, let's go swing slash. Oh, and another one. But that one gets punished with a shield grab. And I see him try to get those falling up air strings. Uh, jab into grab, okay. Okay, okay. Not what we usually see. Going for that raw S smash read. I think, I mean, eventually one of those get hit, right? You don't win the lottery if you don't buy a ticket anyways. Nice, retreating forward air. Shulk tech that was recently discovered. <laughs> Alright, rolls the correct way on the platform at least, and Lighthawk slash smash missing, and ah no, misses the j jabbed back air unfortunately. Didn't quite do enough of a run up dash, and the B reverse slash wave bounce, I don't know which one is which. Uh, Double edge dance just narrowly letting Mash avoid getting punished with these up smashes. Oh no, you can't shield that, but you can shield it. But it, he, Lighthawk just does it again, anyways. Alright, catches the air dodge with that down air. 39% on Mash. He wants to go as a stock out before Lighthawk does the thing he keeps doing, which is, you know, big combos into high percents and another down air. It's just so annoying reading that. And that, that's just him, yeah. Very unfortunate. But still, props to Lighthawk. That was a much more convincing, less close game for taking that 3-1.